Hello friends, welcome to Course Semantic. We are studying debugging in Visual Studio. So from this video onward, we are going to see debugging practically. So this video will cover how to step through a code. But what does it mean by step through a code? Step through code means what? You are executing program line by line under a debugger. Okay. So you can use following tools for debugging your code. First one is step into. Okay. The shortcut of it is F11. That is function key. F11 key. Another one is step over. Shortcut key for it is F10. And last one is step out. And shortcut key for it is shift plus F11. So what step into means? Step into means what? It will execute your program line by line. And if there is a method call present, okay, call to another method, it will show the execution of that method also. Now, what is the meaning of step over? It also execute your program line by line, but it do not execute your method call line by line as it is done in the F11. Actually, your function get executed, your method get executed, but you are not debugging through that function. Okay, so if it is not necessary to debug that function, you can skip it. For that, you can use step over. And step out means what? Suppose you want to skip the execution of the current function. Okay, uh, rather I'll say instead of skipping, actually your function get executed, but you do not want to check it line by line. In that case, you can use step out. So let us see this in action. So here I have created one console application in C sharp. So debugging techniques and tools are common for each and every .NET application and .NET language. So if you know it in C sharp or if you know it in console application, you can definitely apply it to another application also like ASP.NET MPC, window application or console application in Visual Basic. So it is very much similar. So the example that I have chosen here is basically belongs to mathematics. In mathematics, there is a concept of combination, which is usually referred as NCR. Okay, uh, you can pause the video and read this. What is NCR? And now this is the formula of NCR. If you know the value of N and R, you can calculate the combination value. So for that, what we have to do? N factorial divided by R factorial into N minus R factorial. So the same code I have interpreted here in main method, I have accepted the value of n and r. Then here ncr function is root and for that n and r values are passed, result is collected and output is displayed. Now ncr function as you can see from the formula, see we have to calculate factorial three times. So here factorial function is root factorial function is root to avoid the duplication of code and whenever you want to calculate the factorial of any number that value will be passed to this function i hope it is quite simple we have a function call up to two level means first of all the main function will be executed then from main we are calling ncr and from ncr we are calling factorial function three times so now we want to step through this code that means we want to execute line by line code and we want to observe how execution happens so for that what we have to do see basically whenever you want to debug your application you have to start it in a debug mode you have to say start debugging you can't say start without debugging otherwise debugger will not attach and you can't debug your code. So this is very much important step. Whenever you run your application, you have to say start debugging. But since we didn't uh, study the concept of breakpoint, I'm not using this menu. Okay, I'm not choosing this option. I'm directly saying step into. So this option is available in debug menu. And you can observe here shortcut of step into is what? f11 okay so let us do it so hit a f11 or you can directly click over here so this is our 
entry point that is main function it get executed first i am pressing the f11 or what you can do whenever you are in debug mode see you will find this option here you will find this option here this is step into this is step over this is step out either you can click over here or you can make a use of shortcut so i am clicking over here it will accept the value of n and r since we wrote con console dot read line we will switch to console say 5 now it will again accept the value of r say 3 now again i am pressing f11 see what f11 does as i told whenever there is function call it will step through that function call also means that function call execution can be seen step by step now ncr is calling what ncr is calling fact function so again if you click on step into what will happen execution control will switch to fact function okay now the factorial will be calculated so you can see the execution of this code after calculating factorial it will return to the calling function okay this was the calling function okay again what happened again we are calling the factorial function but this time with a different value so factorial will be calculated again this part will be calculated third call is given now now third value also get calculated now the final result will be evaluated and then after it will return to the calling program that is here and result get printed after this you can observe the result on a console see you got the result 10 you can verify it okay now again hit a f11 so your program execution terminates so as i show you how step into works it will show the detail execution of a method also but suppose you know how your method executes you do not want to debug it you do not want to check or inspect it in that case you can take a help of step over so let us do it i am saying step over see if you are saying step over again i am entering the value of ns5 value of r as 3 see now here i am saying step over what happened when you say step over it do not show the detail execution of a function so in that case suppose you want to skip the execution of any function you know how it works or if it is working uh, good there are no mistakes or there are no any errors or logical errors in that function you need not want to debug it okay in that case you can step you can skip it with the help of step over function step over do okay we can check the result see we got the answer again i am hitting step over okay i hope you understand the difference between step into and step over step into show the method call execution also whereas step over skips the method call execution so it depends on your requirement if you want to inspect that particular method you can use step into but if you want to skip the execution of any method you can use step over and it can they both can be used interchangeably it's not like that if you are using f11 you have to use f11 only means you have to do step into only for some steps you can follow step in uh, step into that is f11 or for some step you can follow the step over that is f10 okay now let us see the next concept that is step out so again what i am doing again i'll say step over now here i am doing step over 
let me put some value say 5 step over I'll enter the value of R as 3 now here I did step into I will do step into okay and I did it okay then what I found after doing step into again I am doing step into here okay I switch to factorial function now see factorial function get executed 5 4 times and again suppose mistakenly now I know how factorial function executes right in this step you already observed how factorial function execute but if I mistakenly if I mistakenly switch to that function again and now I do not want to check the execution of this function. Okay, I want to execute it, but I do not want to inspect each and every line. In that case, what you can do, you can do step out. So what step out does, it executes the function, but again it returns back to the calling function. It do not show the detailed execution of that function. So here also, if you do not want to check execution of this line, you directly want to switch to the calling function you can say step over sorry step out so you will return back to the calling function so in both the cases remember this thing your code get executed it do not skip but just step by step execution is skipped so mistakenly if you enter to the another method and you do not want to check the step by step execution of that method in that case you can choose the option of step out so let us check the result so you can make sure that you are getting the correct result and it means the code is executed yes code is executed we are getting the result we just far we just keep the execution of that particular method okay so i hope you understand these three concepts related to stepping through code and uh, definitely you will use it use it while debugging if you have any questions or doubts, you can definitely write it to me. Thank you for watching.